you're wanting me to eat street food, it's not gonna happen. Not today at least. <laughs> but I'll drink. And I'll drink to that. The street food is life. Guys, I noticed that I have a bump on my head on this side. <laughs> I have no clue what happened, but I only noticed it once I started editing. I think I might have been uh, bit by a mosquito or something. I hope it's a mosquito, not a spider. But either way, I don't think that I have uh, I don't have any reaction to it other than the bump. So now I'm going to show you this side of my face, okay? If you don't mind. to get some uh, some cash so I need to find a, uh, a money exchange or foreign exchange kiosk uh, to change some of my dollars because a lot of these places don't take payments in dollars and uh, some of the hotels I've been to they don't accept card payments either my cash I'm ready to go down yet but we still have these decorations hanging out here So this is Chinatown guys, I've just confirmed with someone that yes the Chinese New Year is in fact over, uh, so they obviously did not take down the decorations yet. What is that? So it's called Pora. Zimpora. 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 It's fish. Yes. Alright. And what is that? Quick quick. Quick quick. Quick quick. What is that it's made, made of? It's made from uh, egg. From egg. Okay. No. Oh, one. Impura. 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 Impura.
So the idea behind this guys is to make a donation and then get your candles, light the candles and then say a prayer. Uh, I'm not sure how many candles you can get uh, and how it works according to your donation. Um, but yeah, I've seen some people throw in many coins and taking some candles and then say a prayer. personal experience with it and one of the main reasons are that if I'm not staying long enough in a place um, you know my system won't have enough time to, to get accustomed to um, a different type of food or something at least something that I'm not used to so uh, and that's the experience that I've had in the past um, if I'm staying in a place for maybe a day or two um, it's just too short uh, because if I'm traveling, the last thing I want is have problems with my uh, digestive system. So 
Yeah, if, if you're wanting me to eat street food, it's, it's not gonna happen. Not today at least. <laughs> but I'll drink, and I'll drink to that. Everybody's been on my case about the street food, so all right, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna have some chicken and rice. I'm gonna keep it simple. Let's have chicken and rice. All right, so no judging. So guys, I'm just gonna take just a taste. It's rice and chicken. All right. Oh, okay. So you break it. All right, so that's my chicken and rice. Just to prove to you that I am eating the chicken and rice and it's good. Okay guys, I've just added that sauce and I tell you it is something else. It is divine. So I've added the sauce to the chicken. And to the rice. Spicy. And as in hot spicy. Mm. I think I'm gonna grab another uh, piece of that chicken. I just tried the one just to get the taste of it, but now obviously the one will not be enough so I'm gonna grab another one mm. but the rice will be okay the rice will be enough and the rice is wrapped in bamboo so you can see it's like a little parcel just wrapped in the bamboo and you got to break it open so the rice was 10 pesos and each piece of chicken is 30 pesos mm. the street food is life I'm at the Kalan Street Market by the way, it happens every night uh, between 6pm and 12am, come on down, meet some of the people, meet some of the locals and support, uh, I'm so grateful that I get to support them, instead of always just supporting the big franchise restaurant, so I get to meet some friendly people and boy they are friendly. And you can see everybody's just standing right here and eating. You can obviously take it away, but people opt to just eat right here, which is so cool. Nice way to meet people as well. I've met some nice ladies here, some nice gents as well. 